Hey there guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome to the channel where tonight I'm going to be conducting my first screen uniformity test on this 65 inch LG G1 OLED. Now this is in fact my second first screen uniformity test on an LG G1 and uh, you may ask why. Well, reason being is that my first TV actually had a fault so it had to be returned and this is its replacement. So uh, hopefully this one will be better. So far it has been good but uh, will be interesting to see how the panel looks compared to the old one. Now in this video tonight, what we're going to be checking for is any dead pixels, any vertical banding and any general patchiness. But in future videos, which I will be doing once a month, every month, as long as I own this TV, I'll be also checking for any burning. Getting underway then with this testing. And first off, we have a 5% grayscale. And uh, first impressions, not bad at all. Now I'd say probably not quite as good as the last panel. I really do think I hit the jackpot with that one. But this one is certainly not too bad. Definitely better than my uh, C10 OLED that I had before, or should I say that I still got. Now we do have a, there we go, like a line just there if you guys can see that we've got some uh, sort of fainter ones but that's the one that sort of really stands out to me and we do have like a bit of a patch down there and also a little patch down in that side there if we move around see if those do change a bit no not really but overall i'm pretty pleased with that um with normal viewing i do not notice any lines or you know, the patches there on either corner. Like I said, I really think I hit the jackpot with the last one. It's such a shame it had to go back. Um, but, you know, it was a sound, a sound issue that we could not ignore. Um, but yeah, overall, very pleased with that. So let's move on to the next test. Now we're going to go through some different colours and take a closer look to see if we can see any sort of patchiness on these colours or any dead pixels. So starting off with a nice bright white, looks slightly blue on camera. That's just my camera doing that, but trust me, looks nice in person. That looks fine to me. I can't see really any patchiness there. So going in nice and tight, looking for any dead pixels, moving along the top. And this video tonight, you know, we're not really gonna see any burning, um, or I should hope not anyway, as uh, you know, it's not done many hours this TV. What I have been doing is basically running it in over the last few days before I've done this, this test. Give it a little bit of time to just settle in before I start doing some comparisons with my C10 OLED. And uh, one of the ones I'm sure you guys are gonna really look forward to is uh, when I do some uh, brightness testing because uh, as many of you may know that this G1 is meant to be 20% brighter. So it'd be interesting to see if that equates to a real world difference. So that white looked all nice and clean. No sign of any dead or stuck pixels. So onto a blue now. And uh, please shout out if you do notice anything. So yeah, very looking forward to uh, doing those tests soon. And if you are new to the channel, then uh, Please uh, think about subscribing because we have picked up on issues in the past and that's why I'm doing these tests now. Like I said, as much as we're not really going to or shouldn't notice anything tonight, you know, we may find some stuck or dead pixels, but fingers crossed we won't, but definitely no burning. But going forward, you know, this is sort of the uh, reference point of just showing how good the screen is to start with. So if it gets worse over time then uh, you know, we can look back and see that for sure you know, the panel was good to start with. Now that blue looked all good again and uh, moving on to a nice green now. Looks lovely that does. Always say it, good thing about these OLEDs, don't really get much patchiness or anything when it comes to the colours. It's always a nice solid sort of slab of colour. So starting off top left once again. 
And uh, I'd love to hear from any G1 or C1 owners how you are getting on with your new TV. I know uh, a lot more people are starting to get their hands on them now. And uh, without going into too much detail, I am really enjoying this G1. I will uh, obviously be doing more in-depth reviews on it, covering sort of gaming, the brightness levels, the picture quality. But yeah, first impressions are very good. And uh, as far as that green, green goes, that is spot on. Final color we're gonna take a look at then is red. And again, looks all nice and uniform there. Going in closer. And uh, I'm not seeing any signs of anything untoward. No dead pixels or anything like that. And again, if you have got one of these new 2021 LG OLEDs, love to hear uh, what your panel is like. I've had a few people say that they've uh, had some dead or stuck pixels and uh, they've had to return the TVs, unfortunately. But so far, two out of two, when it comes to uh, screen uniformity, dead pixels and banding, I think I am doing very well indeed. Well, there you go. I'd say that was a pretty successful first test. Now we do have that, like I say, that one sort of vertical band and those two slightly dark patches, but maybe after a few more panel refreshes, it might clear up because it has done in the past. Now, if you have enjoyed this video tonight, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of these tests in the future, then please make sure you hit that subscribe button. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.